2015 is a kind of a tale of two, two parts of the year. The first half of the year was pretty weak. Um, not negative growth, but really slow growth. In the second half of the year, the economy came along pretty well. Uh, so overall, we're going to average about 2.9% growth for 2015, uh, create just under 90,000 jobs. Uh, the one problem is that's not been quite enough to keep the unemployment rate below the national rate. Uh, so we're a tick or two above the, the U.S. rate in terms of unemployment. 2016 is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it looks like it's going to be a fairly even year probably looking at 2.5% growth for the year as a whole. Um, 110,000 jobs, a lot of those as a result of the strength of the economy in the second half of 2015. But 110,000 jobs, um, and as a result, we'll, we'll see similar to the job growth we had in 2014, where we were well over 100,000 jobs for 2014. And that'll drive the unemployment rate down during the year to 5 and 5.4 percent by the end of uh, December of 2016. So overall, 2016 is another solid growth year. I think that, you know, you hear me talk about 2.5 percent rate of growth and that's a good year. You know, well, I think we have to start to recalibrate our notion as to what is a normal rate of growth. And because of a number of factors that have been taking place demographically in the country, um, what we're looking at is that a 2 percent rate of growth, 2.5 percent, is really kind of the target that we should be looking at year in and year out. The idea that we can achieve with essentially a stagnant labor force, no labor force growth, uh, anything more than a 2 or 2.5% two rate of growth um, is simply unrealistic. Uh, what we're looking at here, the, the, the days of the 3.5% growth per year in GDP, they're gone, and they're gone for quite some time, for several decades. But it's strictly a function of demographics. Um, that doesn't mean the economy is doing badly. It simply means that if the labor force doesn't grow, one of the components, one of the two components that leads to economic growth can't help you. Uh, the only thing you have, can rely on is increased productivity. Workforce doesn't change. The only thing you can do to, to get more growth out of the same size workforce is to make them more productive, and that's where productivity comes in. And so what we're looking at is, is 2 2.5% growth is kind of the targets. We're going to achieve that in 2016. And what's, I think, important about that is that what we're looking at is we're already 78 months in this expansion. By next year at this time, if our forecast for 2016 bears out, we'll be 90 months into this expansion, okay? And that'll make it the fourth longest expansion out of the 33 uh, total expansions that the uh, National Bureau of Economic Research has kept track of since uh, 1854. So of all the expansions in, in the history of the country for the last 150 plus years, we're really living through probably the fourth strongest uh, and longest expansion.